Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to cover three basic logic gates. The AND gate, the OR gate, and the NOT gate, also known as the inverter. And we'll go over the theory on those three gates, and then we'll wire up all three gates with the help of this vintage Heathkit digital design experimenter. So the basic AND gate is a two input device. Here we have uh, the symbol for an AND gate and we have an input A, an input B, and output X. Either of these two inputs can have a 0 or a 1 applied to it or a 0 and plus 5 volts. And this is called a truth table and it just summarizes the output on X for every possible combination of input on A and B. So as you can see here, we'll only have an output when both inputs are a 1. The physical device will look something like this. This is a 14-pin device, also known as a dual inline package or DIP. This particular chip is manufactured by Texas Instruments and it's identified as a 7408 and it is a quadruple two input positive AND gate meaning there are four basic two input AND gates inside that package and this is how they are wired. Here's the first one the two inputs are on pin 1 and 2, and the output for the first gate here is on pin 3. Pin 7 is ground, and pin 14 is the supply voltage for the chip. In this particular case, we'll apply 5 volts. So let's breadboard up one of these gates and turn it on. and see if this truth table is correct. In order to know how to hook up this IC chip you would utilize something like this. This is the Texas Instruments TTL data book. And in the front section of the book is a quick reference to the individual ICs. Here we have the 7408 and this shows the pinout for that particular chip. More detailed information uh, is uh, further on in the book for that particular chip. So I have the ground and the power hooked up to this IC chip and I'm utilizing the first gate so pin 1 and 2 are the inputs and pin 3 is the output. Now I'm using these data switches which allow me to apply all possible combination of inputs to pins 1 and 2. So right now I have two zeros applied to the input and this LED here is connected to pin 3 and it will light when both of the inputs are 1. Because if you recall here from the truth table an AND gate only has an output of a 1 when both inputs are a 1. So let's go through these combinations to see in fact if we get a 1 only when both inputs are high. So right now it's 0, 0. And now we're going to apply a 0 and a 1. Then we will reverse that as a 1 and a 0. The next combination is a 1 and a 1, and the LED should light. And there it is. So this, in fact, is functioning like an AND gate is supposed to function. Only when both inputs are high will you get a high on an output of an AND gate. Now one use of an AND gate would be to control whether you want a signal to pass through it to the output. So instead of applying a single 
logic level to one of the inputs we applied a square wave we could control whether or not that square wave gets passed through to the output so we'll connect a square wave to one of the inputs this Heathkit digital trainer has 1 hertz, 1 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz square waves available so I've connected the clock signal to one of the LEDs and this LED here is the output from the AND gate and you can see that it's not passing through so if I apply a 1 now to the input of the AND gate and the clock is on the other input this will then allow the square wave to pass through and you can see that so in, in essence I can turn off that square wave from reaching the output by applying a 1 or a 0 to one of the AND gate inputs okay let's go take a look at the OR gate so this is the symbol for the OR gate again this is a two input OR gate and this is the boolean equation for an OR gate output now this isn't a this isn't like uh, math this is boolean algebra as you recall in binary there are only two possible states a zero and a one so let's take a look at the truth table and as you can see there's a difference between the OR gate and the AND gate on the OR gate the output will be high whenever any one or both of the inputs are high it'll only be low or zero when both inputs are zero the TI chip that uh, I will be using is a 7432 and it's a quadruple two input positive OR gate and it's similar in layout to the AND gate except there are four OR gates on this chip so let's verify the truth table for the OR gate here we see that a zero and a zero has a zero output and now we'll have zero and a one and we have an output of a one the LED is on and here we have a one zero the LED is on and of course a one and a one the LED is still on so this in fact is operating just like the OR gate is supposed to operate so the inverter takes whatever is on the input and inverts it so if there is a one on the input there will be a zero on the output if there is a zero on the input there will be a one on the output and this is the boolean algebraic expression for a NOT gate X will equal A NOT A with a line over it is A NOT in this case I will be using the TI 7404 it is a hex inverter there are six inverters on this IC package so let's take a look at this logic device on the Heathkit experimenter. So I have it hooked up and you can see it starts off with the LED lit and that's because I'm starting off with a zero on the input which produces a one on the output lighting the LED. So now if we place a one, a logic level one on the input, the LED should go out and it does. So to highlight that difference, let's uh, put a clock signal on the input and you will see that it will be opposite the clocking or the LEDs will light opposite each other so here you can see the result of having the clock signal go through an inverter here is the original clock signal going straight to L3 this LED and L4 is the clock signal after it's passed through the inverter 
and the result is they, they are flashing opposite each other. So that's a quick review of the three basic logic gates, the AND gate, the OR gate, and the NOT gate, also known as the inverter. Please subscribe and or comment, and thanks for watching.